Are you an Indian student seeking to study in Canada? Then you must watch this. Every year, hundreds of students take off from India in pursuit of their Canadian dream. But beneath the promise of sprawling campuses and breathtaking landscapes are some horror stories. A housing crisis, a health crisis and poor infrastructure. A recent documentary seeks to expose the disparities between the realities and the picture painted by the Canadian universities. As the students were hesitant to voice their concerns, I spoke to Yashwari Mehta, the CEO of Insight, the company which created this documentary. And here is what he has to say. So, uh, what really inspired me into making this documentary uh, when I was done with my graduation, a lot of students, a lot of friends uh, around me, even in my city, were looking into moving into uh, for moving to Canada, and this also inspired me in a way that even I can do this. Even I'm at the very same stage, and let me look into this. And a very rosy picture was getting painted to me. So I did my due diligence after that. I started getting in touch with people who are already in Canada, and uh, the realities which they explained to me was quite different like uh, had a very huge contrast from what was getting painted to me right over here by consultancies hence uh, after a certain time i thought ki, okay uh, the whole information needs to be very well validated needs to be put into a certain video format and needs to be communicated with the indian students who are planning to move abroad hence the whole documentary came into existence The impact I wanted to have from this documentary was largely about helping students to make an informed decision next time they are looking forward to move to Canada. So I hope that impact has been created because largely a huge section of media eventually released articles once uh, this documentary was out. And now when students are about to type a certain set of keywords uh, to look for options in Canada, I hope this documentary appears or the articles appear and it helps them make a much informed decision about the conditions they will be finding themselves in. Apart from this, what I expect from the institutions in Canada is that we stop treating Indian students like cash cows and give them the services and basic aspects which were promised to them at least while they were taking the admission and have your infrastructure ready for the influx you are looking forward to have so that you eventually don't have to run lectures in a cineplex theater. So yes, uh, we will be addressing issues faced by international Indian students abroad eventually in the other countries too we will take forward this borrowed dreams and there would be other chapters because uh, every coin has two sides and only one side gets marketed to us as indians while we are making these options or uh, while we are making these choices hence uh, yes we will keep our efforts on uh, my suggestion in reaching out to a solution in this scenario is to the students here who are looking forward to move abroad to do a better research about everything apart from the marketing collaterals which you are able to seek or very easily you are able to find. Have conversations with people and students who are already there, ask them very basic questions and compare your life, what you have here to what you're going to eventually end up having and will you be able to sustain onto that or not. So these are the suggestions I'll have for the students who are looking forward to move. Meanwhile, the institutions in Canada or in this particular context, I'll say Indian students shouldn't be used as cash cows how they are being currently intended as. And influx should be as much as the infra of your, admin, of your college or university can handle. If you're accepting beyond that, it is quite scandalous.